Hello. I wanted to just try and give a better uh, a tribute to Norm Macdonald. Um, you know, I did uh, the <coughs> uh, live stream the other day, and um, you know, uh, had some connection problems. I saw, um, which though on my end. I didn't really get any sort of like a uh, sort of a warning or notification of sorts on the screen that you know there was a weak signal or internet connection wasn't strong um, until like the last minute or two. But really, I just wanted to say Norm Macdonald was an excellent comedian. Uh, one of my favorites, and I have really, I have never really talked about him before. Um, but he was always hilarious in any TV show he was in, any film he was in. You know, he did Dirty Work, um, <clears throat> which was directed by Bob Saget, and he co-wrote the film and started it. Uh, the film was supposed to be rated R, but. Uh, it was cut up to be uh, then rated PG-13, so a lot of the jokes that were supposed to be raunchier were toned down. Um, he was disappointed by that, but, you know, uh, that happens, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, yeah, he had the Norm show... Uh, later called Norm. Um, I remember seeing him guesting, guest starring on an episode of uh, News Radio. He was Larry's Matt. He's on the Drew Carey show. Um, and of course, Saturday Night Live, you know, being the weekend up, uh, yeah, weekend update anchor. He was Burt Reynolds for the Je Celebrity Jeopardy sketches. Uh, later, you know, saying uh, Burt Reynolds was not his name, he was Turd Ferguson. Um, uh, it was David Letterman, and he did stand up, of course. Um, David Letterman actually had a hand in the sorts of getting him prominently on, uh, uh, known in America by having him on his, uh, uh, show and that caught people's attention and things one thing went to another and he got to actually write for Roseanne um, he was asked to uh, be a, uh, an actor on the show but he didn't think he was like a good actor so they it was agreed he'd write on the show and you know, of course, he was also on Saturday Night Live, as I mentioned. Um, he's in many Adam Sandler films. They, of course, met on Saturday Night Live. <clears throat> you know, like Billy Madison and Grown Ups, and he was in um, Rob Schneider's uh, film uh, The Animal. Um, and, like Deuce uh, Bigelow. Yeah, he, he was just, uh, he was hilarious. Regardless of whatever he did, he was always funny. You know, even if, like, a, uh, if he was a part of a film or a show that perhaps wasn't very good, he was at least funny. Um, and, uh, one thing that really sucked uh, hearing about Norm Macdonald's passing was, you know, it was just all of a sudden, uh, especially hearing he had cancer, um, and he kept it from people. He didn't want people to know. And he, there was something I saw that somebody posted how it was sort of like a, uh, I guess you could say foreshadowing of sorts to his passing, which is like uh, the film uh, The Street Story. Um, forget who the 
lead actor was at the moment. Richard, uh, Richard Farnsworth, if that's, uh, uh, correct, I believe. Like, uh, he had cancer, um, he got nominated for an Academy Award, um, and how normal is he, you know, he didn't really talk about how he had cancer, and, uh, <clears throat> he, uh, like, didn't want to be a burden to his family, friends, those who knew him uh, and were close to. And he himself didn't want that. And, you know, he was nominated for an Academy Award for The Straight Story. And how, you know, Richard Farnsworth, not Norm MacDonald, but um, he was saying, Norm said, like, how oh, if he said he had cancer, it's very likely he would have won the Oscar that year. Um, but he didn't say he had cancer. And so he didn't win the Academy Award. Um, but that also just kind of shows you how these award shows are. Somebody dies or somebody is very sick with a terminal illness. Um, you know, regardless if it's treatable or not. Um, especially if there's some sort of like how, how long they've had it and how far it, it's gone. Um, you know, sometimes uh, people like that, uh, you know, if they have some sort of illness, award shows will, you know, give them uh, uh, an award, regardless if they should, uh, they deserve it or not. Like, maybe somebody else was actually better, but because this person was who was also nominated as sick and could possibly die, they'll get the award over the, perhaps, the best person. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, and I've seen various tributes to Norm. Um, so many great tributes, and, you know, and that live stream I did, I, you know, I, re I rewatched it myself and saw a lot of cutting in and out, unfortunately. But for me, also, it's like it was really a real gut punch. You know, I was not expecting it. Nobody was, of course. There might have been a very few people close to, I believe, his manager knew. I like to think perhaps a family member or two knew he was sick. Um, but he really didn't tell anybody. You know, he didn't want to be a burden. He didn't want people to look at him differently. You know, if he went out to do stand-up, he didn't want people to laugh just because, oh, you know, he's sick. So laugh at everything, he says, even if it's not funny. Laugh because, you know. Uh, and, you know, he didn't, he wouldn't want that. Um, but... You know, I uh, I've loved his work. I've watched it over the years. I didn't watch Saturday Night Live much growing up. I would have seen him on it here and there, and I did see him here and there occasionally, because growing up in the '90s, you know, he was there. Phil Hartman, Chris Farley were there, um, and so I would have seen some of this notable like sketches or weekend updates and I know he did OJ Simpson a lot talked about him and he thought he was guilty and then Don Olmeyer uh, fired him 
saying is because he wasn't funny, but, you know, uh, he uh, uh, was also friends with O.J. Simpson, which is what uh, Norm believed is the reason he was fired. Um, um, and so many other people. Um, yeah, he... Um, he, uh, Norm was, uh, incredible. You know, Norm was hilarious. Very deadpan. And, uh, seemed like a really nice guy. Like a really great, genuine guy. The kind of guy, if you had the opportunity, uh, to, you'd like to hang out with him and, uh, just talk with him. Even if it was just once in your life, you know, would have been great. Um. Of course, I never had the opportunity to meet and talk with him, but, you know, he he, he was incredible. He was a fantastic uh, comedian and actor. I know he didn't think of himself much as an actor, but he played, you know, his parts very well. He had a small role in uh, People vs. Larry Flint, which, of course, is a drama. And I think he did a great job in that, like, like, like one scene he did... Um, you know, he was fantastic in that. Um, yeah, I think, I think he, I think in a lot of ways in his acting, I think Norm was a lot more talented than perhaps he, uh, you know, gave him, gave himself credit for. Um, uh, he's a, he's a legend. He was a legend when he was alive and he is a legend now after he's passed away. You know, hopefully, you know, his f friends, those who were very close to him, you know, his family, they will all be able to get through this tough time uh, the best way they can. Um, yeah, he was just fantastic. Um, I just was remember I was just like, it was like a big gut punch when I found out he died. I was just surprised. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it, but, you know, when you like somebody like him, you like them for so many years, it's quite difficult to sort of process that. It's also quite difficult to process when a family member passes away or a very good close friend passes away, you know, unexpectedly. Um... But I just uh, wanted to say something a little better than I stream, live stream, you know. Uh, I hope this is good enough uh, of a tribute to Norm. Uh, he's a legend. He always was a legend. And he will be missed. He will be missed by fr fans, his friends, and his family. It's one of the greatest comedians to have ever lived one of the best Saturday Night Live members uh, he was just fantastic all the way around and uh, he will be missed um, I hope all of you are doing well um, if you have uh, anything of Norm like a, a sketch or we can update our film or show that he was in or did uh, you can uh, you know, or even a joke you can say so in the comments below so uh, yeah hope you're all having a, a very good day a great day hope your week is going well and I hope you're you will have a excellent weekend I'll see you all next time. Take care.